Alright, let's check out the latest flea market haul. Take three. First, we'll check out this 1963 Mac B. This came in a 10 pack, I think maybe three years ago or more, or more at this point. And this was the exclusive for that 10 packs. As you can see, it's highly detailed. Nice. Next, we'll have a Jeep Willys. It says General on it. This is the standard like military Jeep that you see in every World War II movie. Next, we have... This is an older one. Made in England, in fact, is just a trailer. Unfortunately, a piece is missing, but I still wanted it. Yeah, as you can see, made in England. Nice, and in addition to that, I found a ladder for a 2006 fire engine in the pile, so grab that. Up next, we'll have the Hot Wheels phone truck. This one's pretty neat. Didn't know this casting existed. And from what I could tell, there's only one of these, uh, in, just in this livery only. Yeah, it's a pretty neat truck. There would have been a boom on here with a guy uh, in a bucket, similar to like the the snorkel fire truck. Up next we'll have a Volvo P1800S. This car I think holds the record for the most mileage ever. I think over 3 million miles on this car. So that's pretty, that's pretty cool. It's a lot of miles. Up next we'll have a Ford Escort and I don't, oops, move the camera. Don't know how to say that word. There's the word right there, I don't know how to say it. This thing's pretty neat though. It's even got a tow hitch. Nice. Next we're going to have a 1996 Crown Vic that is all metal. It sounds pretty nice. It's got a red interior in there. I believe this one came out around 2001 or 2 maybe. Next, we'll have a Mercedes Unimog 2006 in the Cargo Couriers livery. There are quite a few cargo uh, cargo vehicles out there uh, in this livery. There's even a couple airplanes and a helicopter that you'll see shortly. Next, we'll have an even older Unimog. This one's a Tomica. Tomica, Japan. Yes, yeah, so Unimog hasn't really changed much in however long. Up next, we'll have a 20... well, not 2010. Well, actually, yeah, it is 2010 Crown Vic, technically. Crown Vic from 2010, Police 5-Pack. This is one I'd hoped to build an army of, but they're so hard to come by. As you can see, it's got the low-profile light bar. Oops, I dropped it. But, uh, yeah, very nice Crown Vic. One of my favorites, perhaps. Next, we'll have a Ford Bronco. I was about to call this a Blazer. I'm like, that's not right. Yeah, Bronco. Pretty neat uh, stripe and whatever you want to call that graphic there. Next, this ambulance that I really enjoy. This will be the Ford Ambulance, but it's just listed as Ambulance. I very much like this livery. And this thing is all metal. The cab and the box. Next, Austin minivan. I thought these wheels were customs first, but apparently they are not. This may have been like a super fast or something. Dairy Farms. Next, Bentley Continental. Very nice, uh, I like that interior color there. And that's from what years this from. It doesn't say, so it's pre 2007, I guess. Next, 69, yep, 69 Shelby GT500. This is a Hot Wheels.
And the last car here. Taxi cab. Drivers carry only five dollars in die cast, huh? That's from 2009. Next, let's get on to some aircraft here. First, we'll show the really technical name for this plane. Sky Cargo. It's a C-17. This one's in an interesting livery. MBX Airlines Freight. Didn't know this existed. A lot, a lot of times I just find stuff. Then I'm like, ooh, that's neat. I didn't know that existed, so I just grab it. But yeah, that's from what yours is from. A, B, C. So 20, D, 2012. Very good. Next, we will have a Mirage F1. That's a French airplane, if you know what a Mirage is. Yeah, and that squadron right there is the Scorpions, which is a Navy Siege squadron that flies F-18s, which is not not this airplane. Very, very different, but I was interested. I'm like, hmm, why would they... Why put that on there instead of, like, a fictional uh, squadron? It's kind of weird. But I love, the, I love the Mirage F1. Very cool. Next, we'll have a Robinson R-44 helicopter. This one is very neat. I like the livery quite a lot on this one. And the fact that the, uh, there's paint down the window splitter thing right here makes it look quite good. It's from what year is this one from here? CABC 2010? Yep, 2010. Uh, last aircraft here. We're going to have a cargo helicopter. What's the technical name for this helicopter? Transport helicopter. Again, the cargo courier's livery. But yeah, this one's pretty sweet. I guess it's like a Chinook, maybe? And this one is from, I don't know what year, it's got the older batch number style on there, so don't know how long ago this one came out, but very, very nice. Again, didn't know that existed. And next one, I have some new stuff. I got some new stuff in addition to flea market stuff. There's a couple five packs in here and uh, random singles. Got a Lamborghini, uh, what's this called? Aventador J. This is in a five pack from uh, Hot Wheels. One of these five packs is indeed the Lamborghini five pack. And next we have Lamborghini Hurricane. Hurricane, yeah, I think that's how you say that. Very nice. These are actually all very nice and usually not into Hot Wheels too much. 2019 Kia Stinger GT. That is definitely a Kia. Very nice. Next. We're having LEVC TX Taxi. Apparently this is like some Chinese or British or something like that. One of them's a subsidiary of like China or something, but it's it's interesting. It's pretty clunky looking, but this is part of the newest uh, case of Matchbox, so had to grab it, of course. Uh, another Lamborghini Gallardo, I think that's how you say that. A lot of Lamborghinis kind of, kind of seem to look the same to me. I don't know, maybe that's just that's just me or whatever, but... Next, 1980 Mercedes W123. I absolutely love this thing. Front end looks sweet. And I think there's stuff in the back. Yeah, there's stuff in there, can't quite tell. Looks like a satchel. Was it a turtle in there? No, a helmet. There's a helmet in the back. Plymouth Cuda. Again, this is also from the latest release of Matchbox. The latest Matchbox case. I don't know what case we're on. 1948 Willys Jeepster. This thing's pretty neat. Well, I like the uh, the way the windshield is shaped there. It's pretty neat. Very nice. International Armored Car. And looks the same on the other side. More Lamborghinis. What's this one? Lamborghini Murcielago, I think. 
Not bad. Lotus is spirits. I don't know how you say that, but uh, I guess it's like some Italian word. I don't know. It's not too bad at all either. Aston Martin V8. Pretty nice. This is a vehicle I've like, like never ever heard of. Alpine A110. I guess it's some European thing that they stopped making for a while and then they brought it back recently is from what I could tell in my two seconds of research. Cool. 2019 Jeep Renegade. Very nice. I was looking for one of these. Uh, this is a brand new brand new casting, of course. It's a pretty pretty new car as well. Eleven eleven ninety nine is the I had a number for that. Polaris RZR, so I'm guessing that means Razor. Little quad. Neat. 2019 Volkswagen Beetle. Pretty simplistic. I kept calling this thing a Miata, but it's not. It's a 2015 Jaguar F Type. Hot Wheels, but I like it. Lamborghini Venino, which I guess means Venom in Italian. The super cool car, of course. I think only like 10 of these were made. So it'll end up being like I have more in my Hot Wheels collection than in real life. Uh, another Mercedes W123. This one is a Target exclusive from the retro series, this orange one, whereas the blue one is just a regular issue. Renault Kangoo, I think you've probably seen this one before. Just want to grab another one. Very nice. Another Lamborghini Venino, this one, I like this one more than the last because of the stripe here. This is a really cool casting, I will say. Very, very cool casting. A 16 Bugatti Chiron. A very interesting looking car. I think this, is this car, is this like the fastest stock car in the world? Or is it, I know it's a Bugatti or maybe that's, that's old information. And the last thing here is the Sea Spy and the National Parks livery. So we now have a National Parks boat. We just need like a National Parks trailer to put this thing on. Then we can have the Blazer or the Unimog carry it around, you know? As you can see, it's got three motors there. It's got yeah, three seats there, three seats on the other side, and one uh, driver's seat. Uh, the bottom plate here is metal, whereas the Everything above there is plastic. And that is going to do it for this flea market haul plus new stuff. So thank you guys very much for watching this video.